Another day, another Primark haul, another Red Bull. Hey. Can I just say I did notice a difference then on how easy that was to open up. Bless you. <laughs> My dog just sneezed. So easy to open because I don't have long nails. Anyways, welcome back guys. So yeah, I have a huge Primark call for you. I'm just gonna get straight into this. This Primark call I think took, was it two or three trips? I went to like two or three different Primarks. I know, Oh, that's how we do things. A good mix of stuff, a good mix of things that I feel like you guys are gonna love. So let's get into it. I don't even know where to start. Like what bag do I dive in first? Okay, do you know what? Let's start with these. Cause when I tell you I've been hunting in Primark for these babies, oh my God. I saw someone on TikTok have these ages ago and I've like been waiting for one of my local Primarks to do them. And I finally got my hands on them. How stinking cute are these? Like the little knot cushions. I did pick up two, one's in my filming room right now, but I think I'm gonna put these downstairs with my fingers crossed that Cobra is not interested in them. I'm sure he will be. It looks like a giant ball. <laughs> nine pounds these were, which I think is such a good price. They did also have it in grey, but of course I went for the nude because that just matches my aesthetic. Such a nice like decor cushion to have. I kind of low-key wish I picked up a few more to be fair because I feel like I would literally plant them around my house. But I think it's wicked that Primark do this type of stuff. I mean, you guys know how good the Primark home section is these days, so yes guys there really is going to be no order to this i'm actually going to pick up and go we're going to be flying from i don't know like sex toys to, does primark don't do sex toys uh although primark oh baby no <laughs> the reason why i bought this was the color i think this is so beautiful i've been obsessed with this hot pink at the moment i do already have this set in gray from primark but of course i had to pick up this one too eight pounds this was for the matching set you get like a little sort of cycling shorts and a little bralette i picked this up in 2xs four to six i normally would get six to eight but i just like the bralette to be a little bit smaller because i feel like it's a bit more flattering on my boobs because i don't have any also the material is really stretchy so it's absolutely fine but these are so so cute like to chill in or even like imagine right big blazer over the top with some nice heels you've got yourself a night out outfit these are so fab oh you know what i want to do this next because i actually wore this uh today and i'm just so obsessed with it if you love a nice suit like a nice casual suit like one of those ones that you can stick on some air forces and run you're going to be obsessed so this is the blazer it's like a chocolate although do you know what though one thing i will say if somebody says this looks like the doctor who so and now I can't unsee it. So thank you for that. You've ruined my dreams. So this is one of those blazers that does actually technically wrap around. I personally like to wear it just under, not wrapped around like a nice top underneath. Then, hold on, they're a bit inside out because I wore them. You can also pick up a nice pair of wide leg trousers. One thing I will say about these trousers is the fit is phenomenal. I got these in a six. I typically do in wide leg trousers, but obviously remember it is sort of like a suit material, so it doesn't really stretch. But they just fit so nicely around the legs and the bum. They're a tiny bit long, but nothing like unwearable. It's not that long. It's, we're not talking like pretty little thing long. <laughs> the blazer I got in a size eight, by the way. Oh, I can't remember the prices. I think altogether it was like 22 pounds along them type of lines, but it's just so cool. It's a suit, so it just looks cool and like smart. It's just lush. This suit as well like makes me look tiny. Like it just fits in all the right places. It's so flat. In. My cargo lovers, guess what Primark has? Cargoes, wow, good job. I actually haven't tried these on yet, but I bet they're gonna be banging. I, I saw them from across the across the way. I ran because I'm so obsessed. So I did pick them up in two different colors. So this is the khaki. They're like a, do they call them like a cargo jean? Yes, yeah, so they're like a lightweight. They're almost like a hybrid between a jean and a cargo pant. The style is more like a pair of jeans, but the action material is like a cargo material, if that makes sense. They're like a wide pair style of denim, but without the denim, you know? Has the belt holes or the pockets and stuff all over. I got them in a size eight because I do want them to have like a little bit of room obviously nothing crazy but i do like that sort of cool baggy look and then they also have them in this cute uh what they call it sand like a nude shade as well nude and khaki i love with like blacks and whites so that's probably how i'm gonna pair them with some like nice trainers by the way they were 20 pounds each in case you were uh curious how cool is it by the way that primark are doing cargoes I love that from them. I'm the type of girl that's in like cargoes, big oversized tees and trainers rather than like an old poly dress kind of girl. Primark are providing that for me. Obsessed. Oh, these are so cute. So I was on the hunt for some new makeup bags because you know what it's like, girls. They just get messy after a while. These are gonna be the upgrades. I feel like these are perfect to travel with because you can see through them. So like for, for quickness, you can see everything, grab it and go, right? I picked up two of this size because I mean, I bring a lot of makeup. Four pounds each they were. How cute are they with all like the uh, cherries over and then they've got like a little cherry on the on the zip. And I also picked up the flat version. This one was two pounds, which I feel like this one would be so good for uh, like your makeup brushes. I could do face products, eye products, and then brushes. And thinking about it, I almost wish I picked one up for skincare, but that's cool. These are gonna have their first outing on Thursday. I've got an event in Manchester on Thursday, probably by the time you're watching this. I'll be going to the event or at the event. Um, so I'll let you know how they go. I'll let you know how everything fits in. These are good for everything, aren't they? And Primark always have loads of like variety but i love these little cherries 
next up i have this gorgeous maxi dress to share with you the quality of this <clears throat> god i keep having clammy covid throat in all my videos the material is so good it's like a knitted like stretch you know a thick sort of knitted stretch that's the material of this but the reason why i love this dress is because it's got those little like cap sleeves on them a lot of the time dresses like this are either like racer style or little thin straps I personally like this. This is my sort of favorite because then I can like layer up the jewelry, nice trainers or something during the day. And obviously, as you can imagine, this fits like a glove. I got this in an extra small, which is a six to eight, and it was only 12 pounds. They also had this in khaki, which I will be on the hunt for because it was beautiful. They just didn't have my size there. Such a good basic to have in your wardrobe, right? And I feel like this sort of clean, it's almost like Skims aesthetic. That's the best way to describe it. Like it's so in right now and I love it. I am holding back from buying the Skims dress, like the black plain Skims dress. It always comes up on my few page on TikTok and it's just teasing me every time i am holding back because i'm like 100 pound on a little plain black cami dress now i know it's not the same but yeah i don't know i mean maybe one day we'll see random here but one thing i did pick up is the uh primark charlotte tilby dupe this is the dupe for the flawless filter like you can literally see it's it's got the same applicator and everything i got this in honey i'm not sure how this is going to be but we'll give it a go it was five pounds ps flawless glow radiant glow primer and foundation hybrid okay enriched with squalene and vitamin e squalene squalene sounds really really lovely and i've been obsessed with products like this on the skin on when i'm having those like no makeup days and i just want to make my skin look more alive i feel like this is going to be good maybe i'll review this on my tiktok keep your eyes peeled and follow me over there if you don't already thanks girls anyone out there who's into your comfort who loves a nudie because this is my fourth one. And when I tell you the collection isn't gonna stop because I live in my, well not at the moment because it's literally a million degrees. When it's cooler, throwing one of these bad boys on in the evening is honestly just the best feeling ever. The comfort levels beyond. This one I couldn't resist because it's baby pink. It's got little Tweety Pie all over. Again, I'm not really like a Disney or, I mean, this is Looney Tunes, but like any sort of like cartoon character person is not normally my type of thing, but in like PJs and stuff, I'm totally cool with that. I will live my best life in it. And I feel like this is just so stinking cute. I could not say no. Also, the Primark hoodies are honestly just as good as the actual hoodies. The quality, the softness, like this is genuinely like you're living in a blanket, 100%. This was 17 pounds as well. So way cheaper than the um, other hoodies. Also, they're a really Really nice length. I find the Udi brand, they're so, so long. Like my sister has one and even she says like the fit of these look a little bit nicer. Obviously, depending on your height, they're gonna be like different, but yeah, they're just, they're just perfect. Per Effect. I did see another one in Primark. It had um, little dinosaurs on. There was another one as well. I had to hold back. I was like, John, just get the one for now, babes. But I will be back for you. Seriously, the best. In fact, I'm probably gonna have a shower off this video and then put this on. I'm so excited. Sunglasses now. These probably aren't gonna be everybody's cup of tea and you're actually gonna tell me I'm like an airport dad when I put these on, but I don't care. First pair I picked up was from the men's section and then I saw that the ladies actually had one as well. So these were three pounds. They do come with a case too. These give me like the Balenciaga style sunglasses. How? Ugh. I love them. I feel like you're either gonna love or hate them. Kind of like Marmite. Not gonna be everybody's cup of tea, but babes, this is my cup of tea with free sugars. She's sweet. I love them. I feel like these type of sunglass shapes are everywhere at the moment. So Primark are provide. I almost want these in silver. Like Primark, if you want to. Thanks. <laughs> the Balenciaga ones are silver. That's why I say that. And I think there's a Prada pair that are really, really similar. Um, and then these were the men's ones, which were 150. These ones are obviously smaller. These almost look like men in blackie, to be honest. Like imagine. Well, a good guy's dressed in black. Remember that. I might give these to Jake if he'll wear them, to be fair, because I do think I prefer these ones. I think they're just a bit bigger, less dad-like maybe. I don't know. I've been digging them. I like them, so that's all that matters. I did pick myself up some slippers. I live in my Ugg ones so much, and they're still perfectly fine. I'm still gonna live in them, but I don't know why. I just sometimes feel like I need more than one pair. Like, I feel like I need them at different places around the house. <laughs> How cute are these? These are actually memory foam uh, slippers. They also had these in like a bright orange and a nude. I went for the pink. Guys, one thing I will say is I did pick these up in a small, which is a three to four. I'm actually a size five when it comes to like shoes. I did try the medium on, but they were just a little bit too big. I feel like because these are so big and fluffy, there is a little bit more room in them. Maybe just kind of slip them on in the, in the shop and see um, how you go with them. They were eight pounds, by the way. Here you go. You can see them better now. So they've got like the two straps. Can you see that? So soft. Like, imagine that with my hoodie. Oh. Slippers from Primark are like the one pound underwear from Primark essentials. A section of Primark that I decided to venture in, guys, is the kids section. Obviously, it's not something I normally do because will I find my size? Who knows? However, when I tell you, 
I think I found two little gems. I feel like you guys are gonna love these. If you love the little like cycling shorts and little crop top trend like I do, you're gonna love them, okay? Stick with me here. So the first little pair I picked up, and obviously, by the way, because it's in the kids section, so cheap. This is the set, so it does come together. So you get this cute little gray crop and then a pair of gray cycling shorts. Six pounds this was, guys, for the full thing. How crazy is that? Now, I did get it in a 9 to 10. I need to try this on yet, so you guys are about to see. What I did do, though, for reference, is I got a pair of cycling shorts from, like, downstairs in the women's department. A size I would get, and then I compared the waistband. Um, and it seemed to be pretty close. These ones were a little bit smaller, but I did then look at the size up from this, and I thought oh, they were going to be a little bit too big. And plus, they're stretchy. I'll squeeze my ass in. I'll make it work. It's fine. I know I've only got small tits, so <laughs> I'll let you know if they fit or what size I'd recommend. Jordan kind of makes me laugh because I never thought I'd go for nine to ten. If anything, I should go for like 14 to 15 or the biggest like kid size. Do you know what I mean? Picture this with a big oversized blazer, long socks and trainers with a cap. That's the move. And then this is the second one. So a little bit of color, a little bit of lilac. This one's more of like a like a scoop neck crop top. I picked up a medium, which is 140 centimeters, which is what that gray set is as well. And I feel like the top looks quite a nice size. Really, really lovely ribbed, thick, stretchy material, by the way. And the same thing. You get some cute little cycling shorts with this. Six pounds again as well, which is just an absolute steal. Little cycling shorts and little tops are like essentials to have because they're just so comfortable. You can like chill in them. You can dress them up. Whatever you want to do, however you want to work it. Yeah. Kids section, guys. Boring, but a couple of Primark essentials. I picked up the Cooling Cucumber Faith wi Face Wipes. I use these for filming, which is why I picked them up. They're only a pound for a pack of two, which is so good. And then I also got some nipple covers too. You never know when you're gonna need these and they were two pounds. Jumping back to the home department now. I've been on the hunt for a nice new cover to go in the living room for a while. Not saying that this is that, but I just thought this was really, really cute and would go nicely in there for now until I find one that I absolutely love. I don't know what it is. I feel like I need to go in somewhere and really feel the item i don't know i just want like a really lovely like luxe one because i'm just such a snuggler in the evenings this isn't that because it is literally like a thin blanket this is actually an outdoor blanket but i thought for the aesthetics it's cute like my living room is like black white nudes browns that type of thing and i feel like this over the sofa would be really really cute and it has like little tassels as well i think this was 16 pounds and it's really big by the way i don't even think i can show you the size on camera i have a cream one at the moment but i feel like i wanted something a little bit darker because i have little accents of black i tell you what though jake loves this because it's a bit thin now, what is it with boys getting just so hot all the time? Like, Jake gets sweaty shins. Who the fuck gets sweaty shins? Didn't even know it was possible to sweat from your shins. It was fucked up. <laughs> do you know what's funny as well? I'm not actually normally a striped... Why do us British people say that, by the way? We're like, do you know what's funny? And it's not funny. <laughs> I'm not normally a stripes kind of girl, but I like this. Two more home bits I picked up with these cats. Lips for lips gum. It wasn't. That's not why I picked them up. Unscented candle. Burns for up to 10 hours. I mean, I actually don't intend to burn them. I just kind of like them as like a little feature. £2.50 this was. And it's like a little pair of lips. And then the other one that I picked up was also £2.50. Yeah. This says this burns up to two and a half hours, by the way, if you're interested. Little shape is cute. I feel like this type of aesthetic is like everywhere with home stuff at the moment. Primark have loads of little candles like this, by the way. Like if you get a good Primark with a good home section, you'll find loads of different like varieties of candles like this. This. Also, if you were curious, there is no, no sense. Is this the last thing from that bag? Yay! Okay, right. I have this Q tracksuit set here, guys. Taking it back to earlier when I said I don't normally do like the cartoon type of stuff. On loungewear I do. I would 100% wear this out though because I think this is so cute. Maybe because it's shorts and a sweatshirt and I love a shorts and a sweatshirt like set. So... Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> in little jogger shorts though. The waist isn't drawstring by the way, so just make sure you get a, the correct size. It is elasticated though. Such a nice tracksuit material too, and it's like fleece like inside. And then you can also pick up a matching sweatshirt. Cute little graphic sweatshirt, which says the Powerpuff Girls. I think why I like this as well is because the Powerpuff Girls isn't like too much in your face. It's just like a graphic set. I don't know, like I would wear this type of thing anyway. So I got this in a small by the way, and this was 14 pounds. I actually was hoping to get it in like a medium or a large but the more i look at it it's really oversized anyway i feel like you don't need to size up too many sizes because it's kind of built it's built that way how cute is that as a little set though like with the sweatshirt sort of tucked in a little bit into the shorts with some socks and trainers you know you need it right when you see it in one primark and you're like oh should i get it should i not then you go into another primark another day and you see it again and then you have to pick it up because it's a sign. Another thing here that isn't going to be everybody's cup of tea, but if you like Crocs, you might like these. Now, I didn't actually buy them to be like Crocs. I have pink Crocs and white Crocs and blue Crocs. 
I love my Crocs. <laughs> the reason I got these were for the color, not because they're like a like a dupe, like Primark's version of uh, Crocs. I actually like the style of these though as well because they don't have any holes on the top. They're just like little holes on the side. These were only four pounds and I could only get them in a size four because they didn't have a size five. They fit okay though. They're a little snug, but I squeeze into them. Um, yeah, I think they're cute. Little run around shoes and also Crocs in general, like this style of shoe are so comfortable. I live in my other ones so much, so I know I'm gonna get good use out of these and for four pounds, I cannot complain. Next up, these trousers are so beautiful. There is just one thing about them. I swear to God, these are such a lush pair of like smart like trousers. Beautiful nude color. I feel like you can already tell how smart they are like from the pleat down the front. Like they just look structured and put together. They were 15 pounds and they only had a size 10 left. Now they fit really, really nicely around the waist to be honest. The only thing is they are just really long, which I'm quite surprised at Primark because normally their stuff isn't that long. I think I'm gonna get these taken up or I'm just gonna sort of like roll them myself or like figure out a way to sort of wear them. Literally the only thing that lets the team down with these, uh, with these trousers, but apart from that, they're banging and honestly i saw them on the hanger and you know when they just look good on the hanger i do really love them i just need to figure out a way to sort of work with them and that's just a heads up for you guys as well i mean if you're tall you're you're laughing but i'm about five foot five for height reference by the way so if you're my height or under they are gonna be a bit long on you right i know you guys are gonna recognize this style of sets because they have loads now the rib sets that everybody went crazy for and like there was like a gradient one and they had loads basically like a whole collection of them now because people absolutely love them it's because of the material too like they're a really, really lovely quality. I went to that table and I've joined in, but I got this print instead. How cool is that? The black and gray like zebra print. Still that same lovely like thicker stretchy material by the way. Um, so it's like a little racer crop top. This was £3.50 and I got it in extra small. Then you can also pick up the leggings to match as well. Nice and high waisted though. They have that really nice like thicker like waistband to them. You already know they're gonna fit like a glove. These were £5. And I got them in an extra small too. £8.50 for this entire set. I love little legging sets because they just make great layering pieces. I love the fact they have like a printed set now rather than just like the solid, bright, bold colours. Something more neutral but still like a little bit different, you know? Check those little like tabletops out that have all the, the mix and match stuff because this is there. More PJs now because I couldn't resist. I'm going to say this is new because they had like loads of them and they were right at the front. And it's this cute little Bratz. Oh my God, the material of this. I'm not being funny. It kind of feels like the Udi. It's almost like a really, really soft velvet. I can't, I, I don't know. I, it's just beautiful. Tell me why though I would low-key wear the top as a top. <laughs> Can you see that? It's got the little Bratz Diamante sign on, which I think is kind of cute. It's very like Y2K, but the quality is just unreal. It's got like Bratz and little lips imprinted on it. Like that's the print on there. It's almost giving me Juicy Couture vibes but not juicy at all. Your little shorts as well, which I think, yeah, these are adjustable. I got an extra small. They are a little bit spenny for pajamas. They were 15 pounds. However, the quality 100% says that. Like feel it in the Primark store and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Really thick, really soft. And I love the color. Like, I mean, I've kind of been loving lilac in this video, haven't I? Guys, head to the PJ section because they've got some really, really cute bits in right now. One thing I did pick up from the jewelry section was this cute little anklet. It's got little cute uh, pink butterflies on two pound it was i love an anklet i feel like they're just so so pretty kind of hard to get hold of though that like they're not as easy to find as other jewelry so i picked up while i can hopefully um that will fit obviously it's got an adjustable bit on it can't complain for two pounds i want to get some plain ones now to like layer it up because i feel like that would be cute but oh i also picked up this hair clip as well i love these clips for the back of the hair even though i have short hair we can still do it too two pounds this was i feel like that looks more expensive than two pounds it's actually kind of weighty and it's beautiful. Like, I love the gold. What I like about it too is it's flat, the actual claw clip. So it's not one of those rounded ones. So it just sits really nicely on the back of the hair, especially if you have short hair. Because obviously we're working with less room, less length. So it's nice to have that. Um, I just feel like it looks really, 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 really sleek. And like more uh, dressy. So if you wanted to do like a hairstyle with it at the back for the evening, that would look really cute. These, I don't actually know how they're going to work. Hopefully they're good these are strip lights guys so indoor strip lights they were one pound fifty they have a cable length of two meters and they are battery operated i think you need three aa three aa batteries yeah obviously you could put them anywhere around your house they've actually advertised them kind of under kitchen cabinets and things like that i'm tempted to pop these maybe under the sofa where they're battery operated as well you don't have to worry about wires or anything on the floor because obviously you can just like command strip them up where else could i put them even around the tv 
that would be nice. I did pick up three packs of these so I could kind of have a play around that way I'm working with sort of six meters. But I'm excited about these. I feel like they could elevate something in the home really, really easily and like hassle free. I'll let you know how these are, but hopefully they'll be great. Two more other little home bits. So I also picked up this adorable i love this this little clock is so sweet i love how minimal and simple this is i think i'm gonna put this in my hallway or even in the fireplace like we've got like the fireplace under the under the tv we'll see i have a play around but this was only six pounds it does need to have a little battery in the back to get it working love the coloring the nude and gold as well it's a really nice material too by the way i know on camera it looks so like thin and little but it's really really sturdy also the way she has no numbers i don't need numbers it's the numbers of a pussies. Andrew Tate. Please tell me you guys have seen Andrew Tate. I mean, he's been over everybody's TikTok, let's be honest. Like, this is the type of clock that he'd have because he'd be like, numbers of a pussies. I'm a man. <laughs> and then I also picked up these candles as well. I love a candle in the house, as we can tell. Two pack of ridged dinner candles. So these are cool because they actually have like a little stand. Unless you can find a little candle holder that's thick enough for them, they probably can stand up on their own. I think I'm going to put these on the kitchen table, but these were two pounds. And look how cool they are. Love the texture on them. Love the high. They're like almost little thin uh, pillar candles. They probably have other colors. I only saw this color as well. I mean, nude is perfectly fine with me love a good mooch at the candles i'm a candle gal last few things now guys so i picked up both of these colors these cute little striped tees now i really wanted the pink one i did see the black one and thought yeah yeah come on how nice are these like the little kind of crop tops these were eight pounds and i got them in an extra small again they're in that like thick kind of knit stretchy material love the pink it's a little bit girlier and then we have the black and white stripe as well i think i like these because they're like a thicker stripe they're not those really like thin stripes out of the two i think my favorite is is the pink just because it's a little bit different color wise but oh one thing i'm on the hunt for is primark do these pink like flared jeans imagine them with this so cute. I haven't seen them. I reckon they're popular and kind of selling out everywhere. Or they do pink cargos, uh, Primark as well. Either or. Looks so good with these. The last clay the night and I picked up. I think I'm maybe going to give this to my sister though. I'm still going to show you guys. It's going to be a little bit big for me because I picked up a small, not an extra small. It was £12 and it's this really, really cute crochet like bralette top. Primark at the moment are doing a lot of crochet knit stuff, which I think is well cute for the summer. I may be able to get away with this if I pop a bra on because obviously the cups are going to be way too big for me without one. The issue I think I'm going to have is the fact that the straps aren't adjustable, which is kind of a bummer. It's so cute though. I think this is so pretty and it's really well made too. We'll see. I may give this away. We'll see how it fits on, but yeah. Then last, but by no means least, I picked up two of my favorite uh, Primark lip liners in the shade Toast. One pound each, these are. I always pick them up if I can see them because sometimes they don't have like a certain shade of the lip liners in. Such a good lip liner for one pound. I, I mean, you guys know how, how obsessed I am with these. I've been obsessed with them for years. One of the best lip liners ever. So go Primark. There we go, guys. My regular Primark haul. We've come to an end. I love Primark hauls. I can literally watch them endlessly. I know you guys love them as well. I do reckon I've given you a little inspo list for your next Primark shopping trip. You're welcome. Their summer range is in as well, by the way, guys. So they got, that sounds like an ad. Oh, their summer stuff is in. So they've got all the new stock in, guys. If you love color as well, you're gonna love it. Thank you for watching. That's the haul. Get down to your local Primark.